In Sumerian mythology, Enki was regarded to be one of the most important deities. Originally, Enki was worshipped as a god of fresh water, and served as the patron deity of the city of Eridu. However, Enki's influence grew, and he was considered to have power over many other aspects of life, including trickery, magic, creation, fertility and intelligence. In Sumerian and Akkadian mythology, Enki was the son of Anu the sky god, and the son of Apsu in Babylonian texts. He was also the son of Namu, the primordial mother goddess who gave birth to the heavens and the earths. In Babylonian creation story, Enki was the oldest son of Apsu and Tiamat. The personifications of fresh water and salt water respectively. In the beginning of the time, Apsu and Tiamat gave birth to the younger gods, but these deities had nothing to do. Enki and his siblings began making lot of noise, which angered Apsu, as it interrupted his sleep. Apsu decided to kill his children, Tiamat was horrified by the plan, and his plan was revealed to Enki. Enki considered various plans, and decided to put his father into a deep sleep, and then killed him. Tiamat never considered such a possibility, and disowned her children. She then raised an army of demons and monsters, led by Apsu and champion Quingu. This army defeated Enki in battle each time they met, and the younger gods was driven back and began to lose hope. After losing all the hope, Enki's son Marduk stepped forward and made an offer, if the gods would make him their king, he would lead them to victory. Once Marduk was elected as king, he met Quingu in a single combat and defeated him, and then shot Tiamat with an arrow so great, it split her in two. The tears from Tiamat became the Tigris and Euphrates river, and her body was used by Marduk to fashion the earth. Quingu and other gods who were on Tiamat's side were executed, and Quingu's body was used to create human beings. Enki along with Marduk is often credited as co-creator of the world. In Akkadian tale, which is Mesopotamian version of the Great Flood, Enki was responsible for the creation of mankind, who would serve the gods. In this story, the elder gods live a life of leisure and pleasure, while the younger gods do all the work in creation. Sir Enki created lesser beings who will be co-workers with them. The race of humans multiplied quickly, and Enlil the chief deity became irritated by the amount of noise they made. Therefore, he reduced the number of humans through a series of plagues. Each time the people appealed to Enki, who would tell them what to do in order to survive. Enlil is frustrated, and convinced the other gods to allow him to unleash a great flood, which will destroy humanity completely. Enki recognizes the cruelty of this plan, but cannot stop, so he goes to earth to save one good man, Atrahasis, one who always been both wise and kind. Enki told him to build an ark, and enter it with two of every kind of animal, to escape from the wrath of Enlil. When the flood began, Atrahasis completes his mission, except Atrahasis, rest of the human race is destroyed. Enlil then suggests that human beings be made again, though these new creations would be less fertile, have a shorter lifespan, and would be more vulnerable than their predecessors. The gods agreed to this proposal, Atrahasis the last of his kind is spirited away to the lands of the blessed, and Ninhursag creates the new creatures. Enki was the patron deity of the city of Eridu. Eridu was the first city created by the gods, which was conferred at the beginning of time, and later known as the city of the first kings. It remained an important religious center for thousands of years, and serve in stories and legends about a golden age. In every story or legend, Enki is associated with the heights and depths of universal understanding, and is always seen as a friend of humanity. When given a choice between serving the will of the gods or the needs of the people, Enki always chose a human interests, and always the path of forgiveness and wisdom.